All right, all right. Hey guys, it's Gabe, man. Just making a uh, quick video. There was a coin show uh, Friday, actually this weekend, Friday, Saturday. And uh, this is some of the stuff that I picked up today, Saturday. Um, it's a it's a pretty large coin show for, for our area. They, it happens uh, every every three months, I wanna say, every every quarter of the year. And a nice variety of stuff that I was able to, to accumulate here, so. Getting right into it, first thing, um, I got a handful of these, these 1968 25 pesos, uh, 25 pesos. These are 72% silver. These were made to commemorate the Olympics that occurred in 1968 in Mexico City. Um, so it gives me a really good deal on these. Um, so I did pick up quite a few. Picked up about 24 of these, and for me, you know, if you've seen any of my videos, I stack the crap out of these, for the, especially for the price that it gives them to me. Pretty much a good bullion coin for its melt value. Um, so I'll crack it out of these flips and, and put them into my burlap sack. Um, there are a couple of different varieties I keep an eye out for. There's a type, I think it's a type one, no, a type two. Well, the ring, you see the three rings on the Olympics. The middle ring is a little bit lower. That's one of the other types. And a type three would be where on the snake, it's a split tongue. All right, let's see if it's picking up. It's a, it would be a split tongue. So it's considered a type three. A little bit more rare, a little bit more key. But um, these are a great coin to stack if you can find them cheap. Um, I did not pay nowhere near that. He gave me a great deal because I did get, like I said, 24 of those. Same guy, I picked up a uh, Cinco Pesos Carranza Commemorative. Um, yeah, it's a Cinco Pesos. It's 72% silver, 1959. So that one's pretty neat as well. Uh, what else did I get from him? Oh, from him, the same seller. All the craze right now, the Onzas, the Libertad. It was a 1983, great looking coin. So good deal on that one. Um, also got from him, from Venezuela, one Bolivar, one Bolivar. This one is 1954, I want to say, yeah, 1954. Great looking coin again, beautiful strike, well struck him. Let me see if it'll pick up. Um, didn't really pick up too well, but it is uh, silver. It's 83.5% silver, five grams. Great strike on this. You see all the details. I've got that as well from him. <clears throat> um, a couple of these, these are 10 cents Wilhelminas from the Netherlands. Wilhelmina, Cornelia, they're in the Netherlands. Um, most of these, a lot of these were minted in Philadelphia. They're in the 30s and 40s. Um, so I got those from him as well. These will go into my now complete tube. I've got 48, so that'll be 50. And the tube is a little bit over an ounce and a half. So that's where that gets me, all from that one particular buyer or a particular seller. Another thing I got, uh, let's see, here's just something, just some bullion stuff I've found walking around in the bins. Here's a talk radio silver round. Not a Norfed, looks very similar to a Norfed. But just some cool bullion to pick up. More cool bullion I picked up. Here's a safety award from, I think that's the Sunshine Mint. So sunshine down there. Safety for you, your family, and sunshine one ounce fine this one is pretty cool silver valley miners nice toning on this sucker very nice looking coin just anything if i'm walking around and catches my eye and if the price is decent you know i will go ahead and pick it up look at the toning of this sucker united steelworkers of america beautiful looking coin nice or round nice toning um one ounce bar from Panda, a pentagram, Panda Express, yeah, pentagram, one ounce. 
Again, if it catches my eye, you know, and if it's a decent price or they have multiples, I will pick it up. Those pandas look like they're doing something funny. That's what really caught my eye. Um, here's an old prospector. This is from the Hamilton Mint. There's a whole series that they put out, different um, guys throughout history and different uh, topics, I guess to say, but the, the toning on this sucker caught, caught my eye. It is a one ounce bar. I think it's got the hallmarks. No, it doesn't. One ounce bar, Hamilton Mint. Late 70s, I want to say, maybe early 80s. Vagabond Prospector. Pretty cool. Um, a sheet of five. Johnson Matthew one ounce bars. Good price on these as well. So scoop that up. A very awesome, cool Star Meadows vintage bar, 5.4 ounces. Nice, chunky, chunky bar. Lots of cool character on there. See right there, lots of cool characters. A very uh, original, nice bar, and very decent price on it. Uh, all things considered, you know. So, scoop that up. What else? And uh, a 1957 proof set. It doesn't have the envelope or anything. But uh, what I'm planning on doing is cracking it out and putting it into my uh, weight. Wayne Raymond coin albums and letting it sit for 25, 30, 40 years and see if it gets any any Tony. But 33 bucks for a 1957 proof set I, I felt was a, a reasonable reasonable uh, price. So probably looking back I should have got a couple more at 33 a piece. Uh, so got all that. And then finally my son picked this one up. Uh, he gave my son a good deal on this one. You can see it says 118. He gave it to him for 110, 110. Um, and this is a Whitman, the old school Whitman coin album. You can tell there. Um, but looking at this sucker, and I don't know if it's gonna come through very much on, on the camera, but some of these dimes are just freaking amazing with their toning. You see this one right here, the 54, that 55D, that 55P, the 51. I mean, just amazing, beautiful. Look at that one right there. That's a 49P. Beautiful, Tony. These, this coins are probably been sitting in here, in here for 35, 30 years uh, to get this type of beautiful Tony. This uh, is probably my favorite, that's 63. And it's kind of coming through on the camera, but really just doesn't do it justice. It's just rainbow after rainbow after rainbow on each individual coin, it's just amazing. Um, so he, he sold it to us as a complete set like this for, or to my son actually, for 110. Um, that 58, Jesus. So, Great looking set. Um, great looking set. Look at the, I'll show you the backside of verse and see if it comes through. And like I said, the camera's really not doing it the justice, but the 53, or so I'm sorry, the 63 there, just amazingly toning. These coins probably, like I said, have been sitting in this album 30 years, 25, 30, 35 years, and together this type of uh, Tony. Great. So pretty good deal on that, considering you pretty much almost have a full row, or a full row, full roll of um, of dimes, silver dimes. Pretty good deal, 110 a piece. So uh, that's it, guys. That's what we picked up at this uh, quarter, the coin show. One of my favorites right here. Beautiful toning on it. Great coin show, lots of cool stuff. Uh, did not pick up any gold this time around. Lots of silver, lots of stuff that really just caught my eye and um, that's what I went with this time, so. All right guys, y'all take care. We will talk to you later.